Hey guys, this is the finished product of today's camo. I'm painting a navy camo. Hey guys, so today we're going to be spray painting some navy camo onto this AK AK-47. Now what you're going to need, painter's tape preferably, but we ran out so we're just using duct tape. Uh, stencils, you can cut these out yourself. The fine cameraman, um, cut these out. Um, if you want to remove your pistol grip, you can uh, use a screwdriver. And we did remove our pistol grip. And this gun's broken, so we don't need to tape up the motor or anything like that, because it's already broken. Um, and the colors you need are white, gray, blue, or light blue and dark blue. Um, make sure that they go onto the material that you have, like whether it's metal or plastic. And so, we'll start off with the base coat of white. There we go. Let this snap on a bit. Okay, so you guys let that dry. Um, five, ten minutes around there. And we'll be ready for the next coat. Hey guys, so we're back. The coat is dried. And I just want to tell you guys something. Um, when you're using your second lattice coat, we have two stencils here. One of them has a smaller design than this one. And we're going to use the one with the bigger design. And then once you get to the darker colors, we're going to use the smaller one. So, shake it up and uh, let's get started. Put that up. It looks really cool. And um, the darker color, the darker colors, excuse me, um, will overlap with the smaller ones, or the smaller. And it, it won't look bad or anything. If you mess up, um, you can just go over it with a darker color. There you go. Looking really good. So you guys are going to let that dry. Won't take as long as a base coat. Uh, we'll be back. Hey guys, so we're back. And the gray coat has dried. So now, instead of using the big, bigger patterns, we're going to start to use the smaller patterns with um, our light blue. And this looks really good so far. Okay, so there's your um, third coat. You guys will want that dry. Five minutes maybe. And uh, we'll be back. Hey guys, so we're back. This coat is dried. It should be dry to the touch before you do um, another coat for any paint. But so you can set that aside. Now we're going to our dark blue. You don't want to grab your small stencil again. And make sure you don't um, uh, make it exactly the same. So, here we go. As you can see, that looks pretty awesome. And you want to lift it up uh, gently so that you don't uh, mess up the paint, so that something doesn't get stuck. So 
there you go, it's looking really good, and we'll meet you inside for the final product. Hey guys, this is the finished product. Um, our Navy camo, everything came out nice. Pistol grip and the handguard are all fine. Um, we put this bipod on there so I don't have to hold it up. Um, so everything still works, like the bolt, still got that nice sound to it. The adjustable sight, um, this thing doesn't really move, but um, battery compartment you can still remove. Everything's fine. The magazine still releases, still lines. See, that's a pretty cool camo to try out and uh, put on your gun. Looks really nice. Um, also, I want to give a quick shout out to my friend, Airsoft Gun Expert. His link will pop up on the screen. He's a really nice guy and he needs the views and subscribers. So, um, see you later.